See, basically, this is not a good conception to tell that history hmm. is a very vast civilized hmm. syllabus, but it is true in context of other subject. Like we have uh, some language subject, mathly, we have Sanskrit, we have anthropology, sociology. Right. So, in compared to that subject, history is a vast syllabus. <laughs>
we are going to complete the syllabus of history of syllabus. okay so so you you are saying that uh, ncert is not enough we have to add standard books to our knowledge yes ncert is not enough okay so so my third question will be that uh, you know gs paper 1 also contains history yes so what part uh, do we uh, get in gs paper 1 and G, uh, history optional so what is the difference between both the uh, papers yeah differences are there because in history optional we have to read everything hmm. like from ancient to modern hmm. and also post independent right and apart from that we read world history also right so what we see in case of history or uh, gs especially gs paper 1 hmm. there are five to six question have been asked from history hmm. and for the last 10 year the trend is that they ask only one question from world history okay. and it is on the alternative year not every year hmm. so what students generally do that we uh, and also the, what is the difference between history optional syllabus and uh, the history syllabus for gs paper 1 in gs paper 1 they generally ask two to three questions from modern india Hmm. So the only the focus should be the all chapters of modern India should be the focus point for the students. But if they read ancient and medieval India, hmm. in GS paper one the questions are asked only from cultural part. Okay. Suppose in ancient India they will ask question on art and culture. Hmm. What is art and culture of Gupta, Maurya? Hmm. What is a uh, Vedic civilization? Art and culture of Indus Valley civilization. Hmm. They will ask questions on the foreign travelers. Right. Three or four questions have been asked for the last twenty year hmm. that how foreign travelers help us to understand Indian history. Right. Like Persian literature is one such example. Okay. So from ancient from ancient and medieval they ask only question from art and culture. Okay. So this is a major difference between optional and GS paper. GS paper. In optional they ask. any questions mm-hmm. but in gs paper one they ask any question uh, only question from art and culture art part and culture. Okay. in the world history in uh, in optional uh, there are two paper one is a uh, ancient india and medieval india and the uh, paper two is modern india plus world history Cheek. so they ask all questions from world history in the optional paper but okay. in case of gs paper one they ask only one question and especially that is coming after 18th century world Hmm. 18th century is considered as a foundation of modern world. world. So they ask questions about some questions have been asked in the past. One questions was that how the modern world is founded hmm. on the ideas and the spirit of American and French revolution. Right. One time this time the question this year 2023 the questions had been asked on the impact of railways. Hmm. So railway came in the 19th century. Right. And impact of railway is a part of industrialization, industrial revolution. Right. Chapter. Sometimes they ask question on Russian Revolution. Sometimes hmm. they ask question on Nazism. Right. What is the views of Hitler? Hmm. Hey, hmm. uh, de- decline of democracy in the 20th century. The process of decolonization. So there are selected 10 chapters okay. in the world history. Hmm. So we should target 10 chapters in the world history. And if any student read any, if they read NCERT, hmm. so they are going to. If they read only NCERT portion of the India uh, world history. they can cover this and our notes are also good like mm. plutus is notes and lectures we cover uh, world history within 15 lectures mm. and the notes are very uh, short in the 50 60 pages right right so world history should not be the focal point mm. and if they student read for one time mm-hmm. the world history right they are going to cover that one question one okay question. so there is a difference between this GS one but at least gs paper one the history is play history play a very important role okay so So sir next question is can a candidate cover history optional without coaching Yes they can So what are the tips you want to give to the students First of all as I told you in the beginning the students should uh, see the history is a subject that everyone has read in the school right. okay So first of all uh, the student he or she should start reading the NCERT firstly they will not take more than one month to read NCERT hmm. So first of all they should read NCERT after reading NCERT they should see the question paper so there are some pyq available in the market in right. 150 rupees they right. can buy the questions only okay hmm. so they will see the questions that had been asked from 1980s to till now hmm. do you know many times suppose if i take example of alauddin khilji right okay about alauddin khilji only one question had been asked market reforms hai na hmm. and on that market reforms for the last 30 year at least five times this question have been repeated okay alauddin khilji okay same four to five times question have been asked on mohammad khilji reforms hmm hmm asoka dhamma three to four times have been asked right so what students should do, do first read ncert then see the pyq for the last 30 year then read the standard book that i told in the beginning i am repeating in saint india you read one book either of rs sharma or upinder singh hmm. medieval india you read satish chandra modern india you can read sonali bansal 
बंसल और शेखर बंधुपाध्याय so if you read four book then again solve that pyq mm. and see whether you are able to solve it or not apart from it even you are not able to solve all the pyq i will suggest you a tip there is a guide in the market mm. and that is it is uh, by jkb publication published by rashid so rashid is a author so you can buy that and this will help you a lot so of course you can prepare uh, history optional at your home but if you again find any difficulties so we here at pulutas is and yes, we sir. deal with that within 5 months right we will prepare you to how to come up of this topics and you are going to score very high marks in this other tips i want to give you the generally in theory hour in theory hour we have to write about 30 questions right. okay so generally our students also face problem in mm. the course in the beginning right, right. that they complain that if i give the test of one and half hour so they are unable to write more than 3 to 4 questions. Four questions but there in 3 hour they have to write about 30 questions so mm. how to do that so you should start doing practice mm. so you can do one thing if you are unable to join coaching you can also join mock test mm. the mains mock right. test na through that uh, your answer will be evaluated by a faculty of any institute mm. or our institute mm. and then you will get a chance to improve yourself right so you were saying that a student must start from basics Basic. then previous year question papers and then go to standard books yes. right they can cover history optional at their home also yes they can right nonetheless they can come to glutus is also yes you are <laughs> right. welcome yes thank you sir for all the information thank you so students i'm sure that you have got all the intrinsic details of this history optional and an in depth exploration of this subject uh, if you have any kind of doubt do comment below and don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you so much mm-hmm.